This film is a parody. Any similarities to real pop culture, brands, and or people on meant for entertainment purposes never really happened. If anything you see depicted in this film happens, beginning with but not limited to birds taking over Manhattan after humanity ends, you should probably seek a safe cabin to hide in around New Jersey and be very afraid. We highly recommend Sybil's Cave Park five miles away from New York City in Hoboken, New Jersey. Be sure to bring enough food, water, soap, and toothpaste to last you for one month. Now cheers, dolls, because we're gonna begin the show. I told you not to watch reality TV. Why? Because it isn't real. Movies aren't real. I've got a better idea. Why don't we read a book? No. Books aren't real. The things in the books may not be, but the books and the people who write them and movies are. Things that look real aren't always real. And things that seem real don't always look real. How can I explain this? Mister. What if I told you that I had a story that's never been in any book or movie? Is it good? Better than any reality show. I said that because she said that. You said that? You said something about me. You said that. Why would you say that? Do you see him? See who? I see a pelican bird. He's blue and happy. Yes, to his right, I now see a pig named... Camera Hog. <laughs> right. Camera Hog, hey, don't we be outside like a pig? Should I tell the story to tell it? No, me, I'll get more screen time. It all began in the year... 1846. In a faraway land in America, called Texas, the infamous Wild West outlaw Rupert Birdbeak Crow. Who was that for past? <laughs> yeah, fishing, fishing for compliments. <laughs> Stuff. How's it going? 
want a spud. You look like a hot spud potato, yeah. It's called The Eyes of Old Texas, where our hero... You said he's a bad guy. He's a good guy who doesn't know it yet. He learned the name of the movie when he ignored the sign that said...
I came from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for to see. It rained all night the day I left, the weather it was dry. The sun's so hot, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. I've come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. I've come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. I had a dream the other night when everything was still. I thought I saw Susanna coming down the hill. The buckwheat cake was in her mouth, the tear was in her eye. Says I am coming from the south, Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. I've come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. I soon will be in New Orleans and then I'll look around And when I find Susanna, I will fall upon the ground And if I do not find her, this doctor will surely die And when I'm dead and buried, Susanna, don't you cry Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee It was in the same old bonnet with the same blue ribbon on it In the old day by his side But he drove her up to Dover through the same old fields of clover To become his happy bride the birds were sweetly singing, and the same old bells were ringing, as they passed the quaint old church where they were wed. And that night when stars were gleaming, the old couple lay a-dreaming, dreaming of the words he said. Put on your old gray bonnet, with the blue ribbon on it, while I hit old dove into the chair. And through the fields of clover we'll drive up to Dover on our golden wedding day. Put on your old gray bonnet with the blue ribbon on it while I hit all the bills of the day. And through the fields of clover we'll drive up to Dover on our golden wedding day. You looking for a cowboy hat? In the middle of the desert? Seriously, are you bonkers? Cowboy hat, what's it look like? Is it like a, is it like a, one of those, one of those ten gallon hats? Or is it like a three and a half gallon hat? I, I, I don't, I don't really know how they measure those hats, but I ain't seen no cowboy hat. This is the desert. How do you even fly with a cowboy hat? How do you keep it on? Do you have straps? What kind of a crow wears a cowboy hat? This surely is not the first time you've lost this hat. You and your stupid hat. If I seen a cowboy hat, don't you think I'd be wearing it? It is hot out here. I could use a hat. But no, I ain't seen no cowboy hat. Why don't you just go look over there? Maybe that cactus knows where your cowboy hat is. I certainly don't. And if I knew, I may not be telling you because, man, like I said, it is hot out here. I can totally use a cowboy hat. Hide under it during the day. Maybe walk around, be like a little moving cowboy hat. Be like haunted cowboy hat. 
haunted by a spider. Coolest spider ever, of course. But seriously, don't you think you should know where you lost your way at? Like you're flying around, it flies off your head, you just go get it. Someone steal it? Were you sleeping? Someone took your cowboy hat? Now the word cowboy. Words cowboy hat sound really weird. I've been saying them too much. Anyways, off of you, I got things to do. No, you said that. You said that. No, you said that. You said that. I said that because she said that. You said that. I said that because she said that. All right, let's break this up. Which one you said that? Officer, officer, I called because he said that. You said that. Officer. I called because he said that. You 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 said that.
I don't know when you say something, you sit there, and then you set it again, you sit there. The officer needs to go home right now, so you sit there, right? I, I, I can't forgive you for saying that. I don't play by no rules. I'm dating the sheriff now. He's got more money than you and he ain't no outlaw. I ain't dating no jailbird. And I'm cutting to three, and if by the time I turn around, yo better skedaddle or I'm gonna tattle. One, two, three, who? Who? Sheriff, some ugly cowboy guy I ain't never met is asking me out on a date. My life is in danger. Dear Rupert, come back to me in this letter. You'll find a stopwatch representing all inner's love somewhere in time. I had a dream of you the other night. <laughs> about quit and that kid was in your mouth. I am the I'm king of this in my eye. If you want it, I'm going to run you over. <laughs> I, I really didn't cry. I just want to say something dramatic so you don't think I only like you for your money. Love, Susanna. Oh, <laughs> 
I cannot believe you blew up my MP3 player. If you think that song is bad, wait until you get to the future and hear songs by a fellow named Justin Bieber. Now, how did you make sound in a silent movie? I don't play by the rules. Let's talk. You have the gift, boy. For what? Seeing beyond time travel, psychic powers. Listen to me, cowpoke. Your destiny is, is... Your destiny is, I, I see it in my crystal ball, to save the future from destruction, the apocalypse. How will I know what to do? You'll see a candy tornado amidst the fields just outside Sydney. Your kitten will begin acting strange. <laughs> yes, the kitten. We shouldn't forget the final thing. We need to turn your kitten into a time machine hybrid MP3 player. Yes, 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 let's begin. All we need is a few bolts of lightning, one cup of melted Swiss cheese, one teaspoon of Nicki Minaj's synthetic wig hair, and owl shavings. Cowboy, don't forget, the disaster occurs in the year 2017.
Mm. Let's get out of this job. Sure. Your kitten will begin acting strange. <laughs> what did you find, girl? <laughs> We can have you fall around Broadway and boil the streets. Did you hear how you go downtown? Pretend that you're just in the cab for some fun, but then you fell into the hot coffee that the driver was drinking. Then you fell in front of the jams and cab when you got out. And pretty soon, you ain't gonna work. A ramp sound can super at least 25 million. I'm going to say something untrue with a very big grand kiss. And I'm going to get away with it because American Life and I are the sides of the big things. about any movie and I'll tell you all about it. 
these adventures. Celebrity chefs by day, superhero by night, fusion cuisine man played by Brian Zell saves Earth from an impending attack on local and live sea cafes from bad sushi and personating the real deal placed there by aliens. He soon discovers a secret experiment being run by a villain home decor TV executive played by Brian Balthasar that will turn humans into 4% low-fat cottage cheese. The generic brand starring Brad Pitt and Brian Balthasar rated PG. Independent Day, a handsome man played by Will Smith, stands around looking cool while saying funny one-liners as aliens invade Earth. One by one, alien spaceships cast shadows over major world cities. Earthlings get nervous and feel threatened by the aliens striking good looks. The aliens attack on the U.S. Independence Day July 4. As humans win, as if, <laughs> you know they wouldn't, the new Global Independence Day is July 4. Lots of special effects occur during this film for no reason. PG-13 y'all starring Will Smith, Bill Pullman, and way too many people to name. Mr. President, aliens have text messaged us. They are going to attack Earth, every single city, starting probably right now. At least after dinner, like whatever, that's what they said. There's only one man for the job, Will Smith. About that, I'm not so sure. He kind of hit himself on the head, and now he thinks he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's talking in a really weird accent. Do as I say, peasant aid. Send him in at once. What's up? It's Will Smith. I kick alien behind like an old country. Mother. I finished movie today. You do not look like old woman. What now? I'm busy. You're absolutely correct. I'll fly this plane. It doesn't matter. Besides, I've seen it done in movies. It can't be that hard. Are you ready to join a jelly green ogre on a whirlwind adventure? Oh, like, oh, that sushi looks like so old. It's like Bob's flies. You're watching Old Sushi, the most superficial network on Earth. Coming up next, I'll do a marathon if you said that. I said that because she said that. No, you said that. You said that. You said that. Are these farmers cage free? Oh, I bite my toes every now and then when I get itchy. Hmm, <laughs> so this is why the humans have been frying us all the time.
How do you know what chicken tastes like? It's so great being, like, so rich because dumb people buy my products and, like, watch my show about me shopping. Like, ew, what are you wearing? As in worse than the sale rack at Fred Siegel? Gross. Did you say you're famous? We should totally start dating for publicity. <laughs> This drink's only for the locals. Show us your membership card. Okay. Come in. Sights of your clothing. Out the way. Move it. Money. Money, money, money. Out the way. Out the way. No one knows anything classy nowadays. <laughs>
much are we? Yeah, too much to touch, so get out the way! You're not even worth looking at me, peasant, pauper, complete peasant, get out of my way, oh, don't get near me. I'm gonna turn humanity stupid by ridding them of all box. Reality shows is the only sort of form that you should be watching. It's informative and it shows you all the beautiful things in life like fashion and makeup and... Oh, did I mention handbags? Oh, I'm gonna destroy this world! All humanity does a need box! Box of the stupid people! Only the reality shows are the truth! Yeah, everyone watching should know! That's how free life is! Move out the way! Don't you know who I am? Who dares to enter this unholy place? Behold, it is I, Beelzebub, the Dark Keeper of the Unholy Textures, the Protector of the Evil Scriptures, the King of the Hellbound Books, the Lord of- Oh, my eyes! That contain madness for those who stare into them for too long. Oh, Brachial, you do this every time. No, oh, shush now, Beals. Just because we are bats doesn't mean we have to live in the dark all the time. Oh, I say, visitors have come to our library. Welcome, do come in. It is super lovely to meet you. I am Brachial. And this is my non-identical twin, Beelzebub. <coughs> now, tell us, trespassers, who dares to enter this dark domain? Hmm. Don't say much, do they? At least they'll be quiet whilst getting trapped. <laughs> I mean, whilst exploring the final library of humankind. It'll make a nice change from the last visitor we had. Indeed. He's been here for about seven months now and won't stop talking. It's not our fault. He failed the riddles needed to discover the location of... Humanity's last book. That contains all knowledge required to rebuild the world after the global stupid thing. It was the only word the last smart people could come up with before they, well, you know, became stupid. Quite. Thankfully, animals were immune to this and in fact actually became quite smart over the last 150 years. Although Daisy over there is still pretty sharp. She is the only human I will tolerate in my dark domain. It is a shame. If only he could answer the riddles. We are sure that humanity would be able to rebuild their civilization, but alas, the answers he needs are in the book, which he can't get because he doesn't know the answers to get the book, as the answers he needs are in the book. Ah, 
It is a vicious cycle indeed. Daisy was so looking forward to stamping out a book. Oh no. Oh, here he comes. Ta-da! I am here. Hmm. Don't say much, do you? Well, my name is Jones. Illinois Jones. Pleasure to meet you. Well, I searched the entire transport section and found nothing. So once again, I am no closer to my goal. We did say we could not divulge the location of the book. We can only provide you with a riddle that will lead you to its location. If you fail to find the answer to our riddle, doomed to wander these halls, forever you will be. It would mean Daisy would have another human for company, though. As lovely as Miss Daisy is, uh, I'm not quite ready to settle down just yet. You see... I have come here from the past in my time travel machine over there to try and find humanity's final book that contains the events that led to our downfall so I can go back and try to stop it. But the last riddle is just too hard for me to crack. Thus proving you are unworthy to hold the treasure within these walls. My brother is correct, I'm afraid. Those are the rules. Although... There is nothing in the rules that said a group could solve the riddle together. <laughs> you think that the Dark Lord who created this infernal riddle would be so stupid to not eradicate this loophole? <laughs> uh, about that. Really? That's not a rule? Well, that's disappointing. Yes, indeed, Illinois. If you so wish to share the riddle with our new visitors... That would be acceptable. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, then, Bats. Give us that riddle. The location you seek lies with me. I am whole but incomplete. I have no eyes, yet I see. You can both see me and see right through me. What am I? You have the answer, don't you? Daisy. But how is Daisy? Oh, I see. The answer is skeleton. Daisy is a skeleton. Uh, no offense intended. So the location must lie with her. Ah, fantastic! You cracked the final riddle! Well done. Yes, you are now worthy to behold the dark tome this library holds. Miss Daisy, please, show me where humanity's final book rests. It was under your desk the whole time? Uh... What's happening? You have removed the unholy tome from its resting place, and so summon the wrath of the Dark Ones. What? In simple terms, by removing the book, you have ended a very long curse on this place, which will now cause the library to collapse into the molten lava below us. Why didn't you tell me that when I got here? Well, just because we guard the book doesn't mean we can divulge all the details about it. Anyway, time for us to go. Daisy, are you ready? I would suggest that you lot get moving as well. Ah, no! My way home! Well, guess I'm stuck here. Here, take the book, you two. If you can still get back to the past, you must try and avert this future. Well, if you don't mind, can I catch Lift out of here? Of course, old chum! Jump up on then and let's get out of here! Are you lost, boy? I should introduce myself. I'm Illinois James, and I'm searching for an ancient relic. Perhaps you could help me. You see, a long time ago, people moved papers with words on them, and they were bound together, and these strange things were called books. But in 2017, something happened, caused by not reading. Oh no, someone's coming! And a second read in five, four, three, two, one. Are you lost, boy? I should introduce myself. I'm Illinois James. I'm searching for an ancient relic. Perhaps you could help me. A long time ago, people moved papers with words on them, and they were bound together. These strange things were called books. In 2017, something happened, caused by not reading. Oh no! Someone's coming!
I just don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gorgeous. I'm rich. I'm the princess of Middle Earth for crying out loud. The Lord of the Bridezillas. Or would that be Lordess? And not one man I ever meet wants to marry me. Is that an engagement ring in the snow? Priceless. Oh yes. Priceless. Yes, my pretty. The engagement ring has awoken. Follow that bird. Rupert fell off the Empire State Building. He lost his hat again. Without his hat, he thought he wasn't a real cowboy anymore, so he gave up. No, this can't be how the story ends. Move it! I said get out of the way, ugly! Yeah, you should not be in my presence, get out! If you touch it, you got to pay for it. Ma! This is my city. I'll take over here too. They'll take over this city. My city, yellow city. Now it's mine. Get out of the way. Move it or lose it. Oh, really? 
Rupert. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you, we would be together forever. I'm sorry I acted funny before. I get intimidated by intelligent, beautiful women. But the rest of my life depends on you. I'm sorry. I can't handle a woman so needy. I must be going back to Texas. I'm madly in love with you. How can you be in love with me? We've hardly shared any screen time together. A few seconds was all I needed. Don't you care about our love? Good grief, woman. Don't you realize there's at least 50,000 more eligible bachelors in this town? Move on with your life. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a... He may be gone for now, but in the next scene, I'll win Rupert back. After all, tomorrow is another day. So you see, Talon, reality TV takes us away from real reality. Soon you don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. And the good aliens saved the world. That they did. Yay!